every time you go to London. So little things like that that really will help, and it's different bits of information, it's just adding the information that gives everybody that's involved more information to work with. And don't be frightened to give your architect sketches. In whatever form or however good the quality are, it will help you in the design process. And the other thing, SketchUp. SketchUp's a great tool. It's a free tool that you can download and you can come up with whatever 3D designs. This was a basic SketchUp model that a client came to me with and I was very impressed. But you've always got to remember that you won't have the knowledge to know about construction sizes and things. So you may, your architect may look at it and go, that's brilliant, but how are we holding this up? So SketchUp's a really good, useful tool. The other one's Pinterest. Um, if you don't know what Pinterest is, it's an online scrapbook. Home Building and Renovate Magazine have got a huge amount of content on there. The benefit of it is you can create your own boards for what you like, from down to the kitchen, the bathrooms, and also what you dislike. And please, please make sure husband and wife talk and share and show, because we've presented to clients and sat down and they've both looked at each other and went, what's going on here? And it's completely different boards and completely different designs. Have that awkward conversation. But the benefit is you can do all these things and then you can share it with everybody in your design team. So there's a couple of things. Process is the brief, supplementary information that gives everybody a feeling of what you're trying to get, which means hopefully will eradicate that problem of you not loving the house.